I'm Pete Morris. I'm the web developer, one of them at SI, who has uh, developed websites and web technologies for use in the university career service. Um, ooh, well, like most of the stuff I do website develop, I do the technologies behind them, and that what made me interested in that I like is with new technologies and uh, trying to find out how they work and a tinker at that thing. So, and then that like into that with whole websites. Science down in Southampton. Mm -hmm. um, is it special? I with it. Only on a daily basis. Uh, there's a lot of math and um, related in the course and areas of things like high performance computing and AI, which I don't really do anything mm. in. So a lot of the course day, but then there were other things on regular expressions and state automata, which I do um, on a daily basis. Um, I'm going to see Southampton, if I remember rightly, at A level. Uh, so, of course, it's three years long, but I decided not to do that. Okay. Graduating, I went straight into working uh, for the University of Manchester services generally. Okay. Uh, this is my first specific web development job. Um, obviously, I didn't come in via the Manchester careers. There's someone else who worked at the university, and they said there's a particular department within IT services work. Um, I, so the program of this job advertised on the staff job pages, wrote off and uh, do Mr. Andrew Sims over here, uh, and then pestered him for a while and eventually, <laughs> and uh, the intake interview went fairly well, and uh, Sally Anderson, back the neck I work 8 to 4.30 because that works best for me, but most mm -hmm. of the staff will do 9 to 5, they can do 8 to 4. Uh, I also only do 4 days a week personal choice. That's oh, okay. better for me. Uh, that's, it depends whether you're public or private sector, you see, because okay. public sector of an university environment is a lot out the game when it comes to s salaries on it. I don't know, is there an average being a long to the private? I'm not sure I have salaries. Okay. But, uh, the public ones are generally quite a bit lower. Oh, okay. I do um, a lot of voluntary ambulance. It doesn't tend to Oh. Um, the day I have off, but it tends to be at weekends, and so we're doing weekends for oh, okay. a break. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, <coughs> IT challenges, I assume you mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, web challenges. Um, compatibility, I would say. It's getting systems out there that don't doubt talking to each other. Oh, okay. uh, and getting those to talk to each other is sometimes a bit of a challenge. Uh, sometimes even you know, things like JAWS and stuff are fairly work across the board, but even within the university oh. we've got two different versions of which you don't really use with each other. Uh, <coughs> so there's a lot of compatibility problems, oh, okay. which I'd say is the main challenge. It is. Uh, I do PHP, um, but which is a very uh, big buzzword at the moment. Okay. Uh, it's good in interviews to bring up. Um, <coughs> sort of developing web technologies and things like that. I'd say web um, probably a bit I've got a website I've put together. Um, <coughs> but these days there's so much software that's coming out for you, technology that you've actually developed or built upon rather than just a collection. I'd well it all depends on what um, assuming it doesn't, it's mm -hmm. just gonna go up exponentially. Uh, so it's just burst the first don't think around, uh, we've recovered from that. So mm -hmm. don't think it's likely to burst again. Uh, so yeah, it will probably be more of this thing in life, society, a moving web-based, and it needs people to maintain opportunities and it's just increase as time goes on. Thank you, Pete. Thank you.